NBI's Dallas Mavericks shop to give rewards to customers paying with Dogecoin and other cryptos. The professional basketball team owned by the billionaire Mark Cuban, the Dallas Mavericks, announced Maz Cryptomania, which gives DallasMaz.shop customers a $25 e-gift card if they pay with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Dogecoin. The Mavs owner has been a big proponent of crypto assets and the Mavs was the first NBI team to accept Dogecoin for tickets and merchandise. Dallas Mavs.shop customers paying with crypto will get a gift card reward. Mark Cuban, Shark Tank star and the owner of the NBI basketball team the Dallas Mavericks is a big believer in crypto assets. More specifically, Cuban and Tesla's Elon Musk think Dogecoin Doge is the strongest cryptocurrency for payments. Cuban told his Twitter followers that the Mavs were hodling Doge after sales and he even told the popular talk show host Ellen DeGeneres to get into Dogecoin. When speaking about hodling Dogecoin, Cuban said, $25 gift card for crypto purchases. Cuban believes people miss the point of Dogecoin. The DallasMaz.shop rewards give users a free $25 e-gift card for purchases made with eligible cryptocurrency on DallasMaz.shop. Customers must spend a minimum of $150 before tax and shipping. Only one e-gift card per transaction. The website says, the reward promotion is valid from August 13, 2021, through September 30, 2021. The website says the e-gift card will be emailed between 5-7 business days after order is placed and the card expires at the end of the year. Two weeks ago Cuban spoke about the benefits of Doge and why observers miss out on when they see the crypto assets imperfections. The point about Doge that people miss is that Doge imperfections and simplicity are its greatest strengths. Cuban said at the time, you can only use it to do two things, spend it or HODL it. Both are easy to understand, and it's cheap to buy, which makes it a community anyone can join and enjoy. The billionaire investor added, however, in Tothacryptoverse.com's Benjamin Cohen disagreed with Cuban's statement, you could replace Doge with basically any other altcoin and the argument stays the same, meaning it's a somewhat weak argument. Cohen replied to Cuban, the strong argument for Doge is just that people with influence promote it which is at least something to consider," Cohen added. What do you think about the Maz giving rewards to crypto spenders who shop at the online store? Do you agree with Mark Cuban about the crypto asset Dogecoin? Let us know what you think about this subject in the comments section below. After introduces revolutionary combined social network and NFT marketplace. After is ready to launch a Genesis NFT global social network that could give Instagram and Facebook a run for their money, from SEP. 3. Then after web app will be available worldwide. Social media influencers and artists will have the chance to mint NFTs in the form of social media posts such as photos and videos of unique memorabilia. A month ago, Nafter gave a preview of its unequaled web and app, and the response was quite wonderful. To reach a wider audience, Nafter has brought in a large cluster of leading influencers, creators, and artists as the platform's official ambassadors. Their combined followers totaling 50 million will have the chance to purchase their social media NFTs as of SEP. 3. Nafter is a one-stop shop for influencers to mint, sell and collect content NFTs. Influencers can sell minted NFTs either directly or through an auction. Launched in 2018, NFTs were simply used as fan tokens in top sports clubs and in-game mementos. That changed this year as the token's fame grew, with popular brands such as Coca-Cola, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton in joining the bandwagon. Early collectibles dating three years back are now valued at millions. The CryptoPunks and ETH Rocks collections are now worth tens of millions. Having the first mover advantage, Nafter could make a significant impact on the NFT and social media industry. Similar to social apps like Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, Nafter is becoming industry first. Social media influencers can now market their products and content using NFTs. The social media craze is at its highest, hence the relevance of Nafter. Instagram and other social sites may launch their competitive NFT marketplaces, but Nafter is already ahead in the game. Launching an NFT marketplace is a common trend and many projects are taking on NFTs fast. Various products such as art pieces of historical representations have been immortalized as NFTs. However, Nafter's uniqueness lies in having a new use case of an interactive medium and NFT marketplace at the same time. East Witherspoon invests in Ethereum crypto new media. The cryptocurrency craze is infecting everyone. Hollywood actress Reese Witherspoon is the latest to announce that she has invested in Ethereum. From this post, it's easy to imagine that the actress bought an entire Ethereum for just under $4,000. That's how much ETH is currently worth, according to CoinMarketCap. 
her choice is more than justified. In 2021, Ethereum is experiencing a real rise in price. Its performance is even better than Bitcoin's, and many believe that sooner or later there will be a flippening. I. Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin as the leading cryptocurrency by market capitalization. At the moment, however, Ethereum's market cap is $464 million, half that of BTC. It is likely, though, that with the changes made to the protocol through the implementation of proof-of-stake, Ethereum could grow further in usage and value. Cinema, VIPs, and cryptocurrencies East Witherspoon is not the first actress to invest in cryptocurrencies. Hollywood is full of actors, actresses, and various VIPs who have made investments in Bitcoin. Bitcoin more. Most recently, Game of Thrones star Macy Williams asked her Twitter followers whether to go long on Bitcoin, hinting at a desire to invest in BTC. Actress Lindsay Lohan is also in the cryptocurrency business and has repeatedly promoted Bitcoin, Ethereum and Tron on her channels. Among music stars, Gene Simmons, frontman of KISS, has admitted to owning several cryptocurrencies, including BTC, ETH, LTC and BNB. Often, these celebrities also end up as testimonials. For example, football player Tom Brady and his partner, model Jaisal Bunchen have become testimonials for crypto exchange FTX. There are also cases of sponsorship gone wrong. Steven Siegel, for instance, got into trouble for endorsing Bitcoin B2G. Finally, there are also involuntary testimonials of scams. The actor Tony Savillo, star of the Oscar-winning film La Grande Belleza, was used to promote Bitcoin code. This is a software that boasts staggering earnings in cryptocurrencies, but Tony Savillo has never given an interview in which he says he got rich on this platform. Like him, many other celebrities have unwittingly contributed their faces to similar platforms. Sport and cryptocurrencies. In fact, sport seems to be the breeding ground for cryptocurrencies. The United States is leading the way towards paying sportsmen and women in Bitcoin and crypto. The foreigner here is NFL player Russell Oken, who has been receiving half his salary in BTC since last year. In Europe, the case of Lionel Messi has caused a stir. He has received a welcome bonus in dollar sign PSG, the team's fan token, on his move from Barcelona to Paris Saint-Germain. And then there is Inter Milan footballer Marcelo Brzovic who sponsored the crypto exchange Binance, even with the referral link in his Instagram bio. 